Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the video on how to subtract double-digit numbers with a 100-bead abacus. If you have just watched the video on how to subtract single-digit numbers with a 100-bead abacus, you are in the right place. Let's get started, as subtracting double-digit numbers is a little more difficult than subtracting single-digit numbers. Let's start, though, with an easy one. Let's start with 39 minus 21. So we can go to 4, 6, 8, 9. Starting again by forming our first number, 1, 2, 3. So we have 39, and we have to subtract 21. So starting in the 1's place, we can move 1 bead over, because that's all we need to move, and then move 2 green beads, 2 10 beads, because we have 2. And if we look here, it's hard to tell because there's so many beads, but there's 21, and so we have our overall, we have 39, and then we get rid of the 21. So let's get rid of this 21 and figure out what number we have. So I'm going to write down this number, and we have 1, and 2, 4, 6, 8. 1 in the tens and 8 in the ones. So our answer is 18. Your abacus should look something like this. Pretty simple, right? But we're going to get to a little more tricky ones starting now. So we're going to do 65 minus 48. So we're going to start by forming the first number, 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 65, 2, 4, 6, 5. And now we have to subtract 48. Whenever you're subtracting, we will start from the bottom or the ones place to the top. So we're going to get rid of 8 1 beads, 1, 2, 3, four, five. We ran out of beads to get rid of, so we're going to do something sort of similar to what we did with addition, but we're going to start by writing down the number we had left, five. So we left off by subtracting five beads. Now, since we learned in the addition, one bead from the row above equals ten beads from the row below, if we get rid of one green ten bead, we can move these 10 yellow beads back. And it's the same thing as if I had this. It's the same number as 2, 4. This is 60. So this is 2, 4, 50, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So 50 and 10 is the same as 60. But when subtracting, it gives us more beads to subtract. So, since we left off at 5, we need to continue to get to 8, 6, 7, 8. Now that we've covered our 1's place, we can move on to the 10's and get rid of the 4 for 48. 1, 2, 3, 4. The 4 is the 10's place in the number 48. This gives us our answer to the problem, which is 1, 2, 4, 6, 7. So, the answer we have found to that problem is 17. Again, with my 5 in the corner for notes. So that one was a little trickier. We're going to do one similar to that one more time. We might go through it twice just because it is a little trickier. We're going to do 93 minus 58. So we're going to start by forming our first number, 93. 1, 2, 3. And we're going to form 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So we have 93, and now we're going to subtract 58. Again, have your sheet of paper ready for notes. We can start by subtracting 3, or we're going to st start, rather, by subtracting the 8 and 58. So we'll go 1, 2, 3. I'm going to write down the 3 to remember for later. We don't have any beads to get rid of, so we're going to move one green bead back. We're going to take one green bead away from what we have, and we can move the ten beads back to the side with the beads that we are counting from. So, starting from three, we need to get to eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we need to subtract five from the top number to get our tens place. One, two, three, four, five. This gives us the number one, two, three. I'm gonna write that down. One, two, three, four, five. 
that gives us the number 35. This is what our abacus should look like at the end. Now this concept is a little trickier than addition, so we're going to try that one one more time. Starting again by forming the first number, 93. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3. Now we have 93. Now we need to get rid of 58 beads for 5 in the 10s and 8 in the 1s. We only have three ones beads, but we're going to move them over. One, two, three. And we're going to write that down on our sheet of paper. Because we know one green ten bead equals ten yellow beads, because like we discussed in our addition video, one bead from the row above equals ten beads from the row below. So because we know one ten bead is also equivalent to ten one beads, we can move one of these beads over and move our 10 ones back so we have more beads to count on. So from 3 we need to get to 8 because I wrote 3 down in my notes. So we go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now this gives us our number if we were subtracting 93 minus 8, but we need to do 93 minus 58. So let's get rid of 5 of our green beads. 3, 4, 5, this gives us our final number, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, write that down, 3, and 5, so that gives us the number 35. Subtraction is a little more confusing as you may have learned by now, but I'm still going to give you some examples to try on your own before I go. Uh, again, I will give you 10 seconds to solve them, but you will likely need more than 10 seconds to do so, so please solve the video and don't just go on and see the answer. The first problem I will have you solve is 76 minus 32. The answer you should get for this problem is 44, and your abacus should look like this. Did you get it? Great job. Now let's try 33 minus 18. The answer you should get for this problem is 15, and your abacus should look something like this after solving the equation. Again, I put my notes in the corner so I can remember them for later. Did you get it? Well done. Last, let's solve 95 minus 78. The answer you should get for this problem is 17, and your abacus should look like this. You did a great job learning how to subtract double digit numbers using a 100 bead abacus. If you need more help, you can go back and watch this video again, or you can go and click the button below that says examples to see these three example problems done. I'm James Porter signing off for now, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it.